Hello everybody. Um, I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your night to watch my video for Back to School Night. Uh, my name is Mr. Garcia um, and I am your child's zoology teacher. Um, here's a little bit about my basic information, uh, name, room number. Um, best way to get in contact with me is my email address, um, which you can see there. Uh, it's fgarcia at pleasantonusd.net. Um, I teach biology as well as zoology here. Um, and I can tell you it was uh, it was really great coming back to school this year um, and seeing a lot of familiar faces of kids who took my biology class uh, coming back to take zoology um, after the past year and a half that we've had. It was nice to see some familiar faces. Um, I also coach JV baseball here. Um, and if you ever need to look at anything, this class related, the best place to go is the class website. And so I actually have a QR code here if you are at home. Um, you can scan this um, and this will take you to the class website. Um, so if you just scan it with your phone, it will bring up the class website and I will show you what that looks like. Um, so here's the homepage for the class website. Uh, you can find most things that you need for this class on the website. Um, if you're ever looking for like the syllabus or textbook information, um, this is zoology classroom resources is the place to go. Uh, but there's also a zoology page where you can see everything you need for every unit we study throughout the year. So if your student misses something from, let's just say, the amphibians unit, um, they're absent, they need help on something, um, you can go to the amphibians unit and find everything from the notes that we take um, to the vocab, to assignments that we do in each class. Um, so there's kind of the first place to start, but another uh, really useful thing is this class calendar tab, um, where you can see day to day uh, what we are doing in class. Um, so not only is there like just the basic overview of what we're doing, uh, but anytime I hand out something or there's like a techno technological aspect to it, I'm usually gonna put a link there. Um, and that link is, um, for either the students who miss class or parents who need to check on um, the students, see what they did in class. Um, and you can see that outlined here. Um, I do one unit at a time, so we are about to finish our first unit, which ends on 9, 1, and 2. Um, and then um, once that ends, I will put up the next unit. A little bit of nuts and bolts for this class. Um, this is how it's graded. So 50% of their grade is tests, quizzes, and major projects. 25% uh, is classwork, homework, and labs. Participation is 10%, and their final exam is 15% of the grade. Um, generally, the best way to get a hold of me is email. Um, I do my very best. Uh, this year, I am teaching six-fifths, though, which means I teach six straight periods, no prep. Um, and I also have these uh, two beautiful young ladies at home, uh, which take up a good chunk of my time outside of class. And so if I ever don't respond to you, um, within that 48 hour time frame, just shoot me another email. I promise I'm not ignoring you. Things just got in the way. Um, and along those lines, right, if you if you feel like your child needs help in my class, I prefer that they do that themselves. Most of them are juniors and seniors in my zoology class. Um, they should be at the point where they are self advocating for themselves. But if for whatever reason they are too shy, embarrassed, nervous, maybe they don't realize that they need help you can feel free to contact me, um, but I do prefer if they are the initial point of contact. Um, I am not too scary, um, I'm not that intimidating. They should feel free to come up and just ask for help. Um, and in general, um, try to monitor Q um, the best you can if you're worried about grades. Um, if a student comes in and asks for help early in the year, um, it is usually not that big of a deal to get them caught up. Um, but if we're looking at like grades right before the semester hits, um, it's usually a little bit too late if it's like one or two weeks before grades are due. Um, some highlights of zoology because it's a pretty unique class. Um, basically we study animal life and diversity, um, starting at the most simple organism like sponges and working our way up in terms of complexity to the more complicated animals like mammals. Um, the goal is for every major unit, we're going to do a dissection or a hands-on lab. Um, we also have like live animal labs, 
whether it is it is something smaller, like a snail or a worm um, or a fish, or something bigger, like um, we do anoles, which are tiny lizards. We do frogs, um, and we even hatch ducklings at the end of the year. Um, I apologize in advance. Um, if your student at one point throughout the year asked to bring something home. Um, in general, that's kind of how the class goes. We work with them in class. Um, and if somebody like really liked them and had parent permission, they have my permission to bring the animal home and take care of it. Um, so I apologize in advance. Your child will probably ask to bring something home throughout the year. Um, the goal is to do a couple field trips throughout the year. In normal times, we go to Monterey and the open zoo and a couple other little walking distance field trips. I don't know how that's gonna work this year. Um, it's still kind of up in the air, but my hope is maybe second semester we get to do a couple of those things. Um, so thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you got um, the basic information that you need there um, for the class. Um, I hope you have a good night. Thanks for watching.